Turn to us, Spirit from beyond, Abigail Blossom, we ask to correspond. We seek your wisdom, help, and insight. Appear before us, Sister of the Night. Pray tell, why have I been conjured? Abigail. Hi. We need your help. An evil sorcerer has called a comet down upon us and bound us to this town so that no one can leave it. Good. Why for should I help you? Listen, I think we may have gotten off on the wrong foot, so yes. I'm asking you to show a little mercy. Also, I'll free you from that ceramic hell doll. A long, long time ago, when I was still alive, I spent the most sublime evening with my beloved Thomasina. She was an astronomer and a scientist, as well as a witch. It's called Bailey's Comet. It's beautiful, just like you. What's it made of? Ice, my love. Comets are made of ice. I hear what goes on in this house. You possess the power of the phoenix, don't you? As soon as the comet gets close enough to Earth, project your power at it. And melt it? That's kind of basic, but also kind of genius. But if it is to work, it will require all of your phoenix power. And such an effort will come at a cost. What about Percival's trap? Can you help us undo his binding spell? Mayhap, though that will take a greater effort to undo. Therefore, in exchange, I will require something more than an appeal and my freedom. Okay, we're listening. Oh, my underworlders! Any luck finding a safe passageway out? Not yet. Every time we follow a tunnel that leads us to what should be the edge of town, we hit the barrier. Luckily, I may have to find a pathway through our little conundrum. Come, come, everyone's gathered at Thornhill. Listen up, Riverdalians. Thanks to some ancestral advice, I believe I might, might, be able to melt the comet with my phoenix powers. Whoa, that's incredible news. And there may also be a way to undo Percival's binding spell so that we can evacuate the town. But, Tony, you and I need to speak about that privately. Okay. Hold on, is it really as easy as melting the comet? No, Veronica, there is one huge catch. It will take all of my phoenix energies to extinguish Bailey's comet. Which means if I successfully melt the comet, one or more of the dead I've resurrected will surely perish. W uh, wait, why? Because it is my powers that are keeping the resurrected dead alive. Who knew? So, who's on the chopping block, exactly? Archie, Jughead, Polly, my Nana, Dagwood, Alice, Frank, Sheriff Keller, Thangs, and Tony. If Riverdale is to live, one or many of you or your loved ones must die. What can I do to help, Cheryl? My ancestor, the witch, Abigail Blossom, is going to help us figure out a way to break Percival's spell and escape Riverdale's borders. But first, she wants to spend one final evening with her beloved in carnal form. And we need two vessels to make that happen. I would be Abigail's and you, pending your agreement, would be her beloved. Thomasina Topaz, your ancestor who was also a witch. Okay, but what about Fangs and Heather? Well, Heather's a witch, so she's kind of Fine with what else? As for things, it isn't technically cheating. I mean, our souls will be elsewhere whilst- And where would our souls be exactly? Not to worry. Heather will keep our spirits in a jar until the lovemaking ends.